Hello and welcome everybody. I hope that you're all good and you join me en route to King's Cross. We are doing a Typhlosion Hisuian form raid day in central London with a fantastic squad of people. So let's see if we can have ourselves a hundo or a shiny. One in 10 ratio, fingers crossed for today. And we have our second check here. We've got 20 remotes possible for today. And we're gonna burn all of them. This is a weather boosted one, so it's not 100%. So you'd be looking for 17, 10 or 21. I think it's 83 or something like that. Thank you, Byron, for this one from Greece. Will it be shiny on raid number two? It is not. It needs to be a paler shade of blue, much like the Johto regular form. Let's catch that. It's not going to be sunny boost here in the United Kingdom of England land, but we'll be looking for 1710. And fingers crossed we can get the shiny fairly quickly. 10 remotes will be going to Europe, 10 will be going to America. That's a nice first ball catch. So well, let me know in the comments below how your Hisuian Typhlosion raid day went, much like the Samrot earlier in this season. And of course, don't hesitate to throw a like down on that video and do subscribe if you are new as well. I'd hugely appreciate the support. Let's check the IVs of this. Very dead indeed, absolute trash. But we've got A, another invite from Yaya Couple of Gaming. Let's go. And welcome to central London with endless noise. <laughs> Big thank you, Alison Becker from Norway. Double shiny here in King's Cross, fantastic. Look at that. It's a subtle shiny, but I like Typhlosion. My favorite Johto starter, to be honest. The fact they got a Hisuian form, epic. 1654 is dead, is very poor indeed as we go into low power mode. Thank you so much, folks. But let's get it cool, because he's actually got one that's 20 CP off of the 100%er. Shiny in the bag, technically don't need to remote it anymore. Nice, it's, it's literally, what is it, 12, 11, 11, sick. Hey. Thank you, couple of gaming. Second shiny is in the bag, and a 1692 has got to be good. Time for the local raid game now. The squad here is pretty massive, and we've already had a lobby completed and done. 1668 is dead. We want to see the 1710, of course. Bloody Davis Master Nabba Hunt already. Can we get a shiny from the local raids? We've already had three shinies from 10 remotes. Come on. Dwayne with the most damage. Nice one. Yeah. No shiny on raid numero uno. I want to see 1710. <laughs> Mr. I'm not getting any more shinies right there. Bloody Francesco. <laughs> Will we see 1710? 1672. We do, of course, have the ticket for the raid day, courtesy of Andrew, aka the Wolverine, who gifted it to me pretty much exactly the same time as the Dazzling Dream event ticket. So thank you very much, my dude. Gives us some more passes and some rare XL not shiny. Damn. 1692 on this raid, but will it be an in-person shiny? I don't know. Come on, no. In-person raids already behind the remotes, I will say. You should hurry up, sir. No. No. I don't think anybody so far has had a hundo, or apart from David before the raid day even started. Come on, please. No. The in-person raid luck's not working. Maybe we need to burn through those free passes and then the premium ones where it's going to be out. Yes, Shiny. Yes. Yay, it's not cheese. Could be the final raid of our number one. Still have not seen a uh, shiny from in-person raids. Silverman with the most damage. Smug, uh, not shiny. Yeah, 1670. Oh dear. Same gym next hour. Will it be something good? No, 1663. Fantastic. But snap, snap rubbish. Love it. Will it be? Oh, stop it, Francesco. Seriously, stop. <laughs> No in-person raid shiny. The smug, smug Amazing. kid. Oh, Take <laughs> on shiny from the same gym. Wow. Wow. Yes. <laughs> the 
two, one, chill. No. Three, two, one, die. No. There we go, finally, a shiny from the in-person raids we've been doing. It's only taken nearly two hours. Bit of an ordeal to get that one. That's not, not gone rusty. We've got a silver pineapple. Why not? The Hisubian starter shinies kind of reflect back on their normal region and counterparts. But there we go. In the bag it is, of course, a guaranteed catch. Let me know how your shiny hauls were for this raid day. And this 1690, is it a bad 93? But not a bad shiny. It's actually the best technical IV shiny we've got so far. And we've got quite a few more raids we can go and do, hopefully. We've only got 10 minutes of this hour, and then we're into the final hour and 10 remotes in America, maybe we can get some good stuff there. Okay, okay. okay. three, two, three, two one. one. Nope. Yeah. 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 Look at this with the night zone background. Shiny number two of the in-person session. 20 past four, roughly. 1654 is awful but we'll definitely take it with the nighttime background it's fabulous get it caught we're actually about to make our way back to ealing second shiny for the in-person raids fifth in total and yeah 12 10 12. very much lucky trade fodder but nice indeed very very nice there's another one let's jump in another one <laughs> back to back back to back shinies no joke i actually can't believe it we know 1666 is dead but that's a back to back shiny there you go back Back to back shinies. Now the luck comes in, in the last hour. Let's go do another one. Oh yeah. No, not three in a row. And now we're back in Ealing. It is way past five o'clock. So first and foremost, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who was there at King's Cross, the Central London squad run by Stars Community Ambassador. Thank you very much for letting us join you. It was fantastic. And technically six shinies. We've got three from the remotes, which were Alison Becker, Couple of Gaming and Helix, Community Ambassador who's over in the Netherlands. So thank you very much for those three. And of course, three local that you would have seen on this video as well. Six so far, we've got 10 remotes left. Let's see what America brings. I wanna say, let me know in the comments below how your raid day for Hisuian Typhlosion went. I hope you got the shiny. It may be one in 10 ratio, but I know there are plenty of horror stories that go around of people doing 50, 60, 70 raids, not getting the shiny. So fingers crossed you weren't in that boat. But I will say, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to smash that like button and do subscribe if you are new as well. I'd hugely appreciate the support. Obviously, a huge thank you to everybody who is on the Patreon squad. You guys at the end of the video on the rolling credits every single time are the reason that this continues to be possible. Thank you so much for all of your pleasures, making the content, the live streams, and the live event travel happen as well. Thank you so very much indeed. Now, couple of things. Two of the three Hisuian starters have had their raid day. So, Hisuian Decidui, I'm calling it. There is only one free weekend in February that is left. And I'm going to say, because it went, Hisuian Samurai was a Sunday, Weirdir was a Saturday, this was a Sunday. Hisuian Decidui will be a raid day on February the 10th. I'm calling that, and it will be much the same, one in 10 ratio. But don't forget, they will be available, I think, in the Global Sinnoh Tour in the three-star raids as well as Shiny. So if you missed out on this opportunity, you could still raid them over the course of Global Sinnoh Tour. Schedule for the rest of the week. I'm gonna say, if you wish to join for Thunderous Therian Form Raid Hour next Wednesday, drop your in-game name and your friend code in the comments below. That is a very good electric type raid attacker, good Shiny as well. So come and join me for that if you fancy it. And I will say, jump into the Discord as well, because the Discord should be lit with very global raids etc we've also got routes spotlight hour on the tuesday which is a very very good spotlight hour, i'd say i think the bonus is transfer candy off the top of my head very good shiny very relevant meta raid attacker and gets a mega guard of war and Gallade in the near future as well so some good stuff to go for for that 19th of january the friday will be out covering this battle week with annihilate being available in the game for the first time so there's a lot of cool stuff coming up and we've got porygon community day classic next saturday the 20th i'm looking forward to that one and let's see what uh, what kind of challenge we're going to do let's see shall we and finally do not hesitate to go and check out the la merch that's just dropped for Sinotor la available across the uk and eu and us oceana stores there's an amazing plethora of products over there with this awesome metallic star la coastal sunset background I absolutely love the design great work by francesco again go and cop some merch if you fancy it but i'll say until the next time do take care